Connemara is one of the most westerly points of Europe, situated in northwest County Galway on the west coast of Ireland. It is a wild and desolate area of granite mountains and widespread boglands, whose people have been hardened and shaped by the climate that sweeps in from the Atlantic. Great galleons from the Spanish Armada were wrecked on this wild coast in the 16th century, and tradition attributes much of the appearance of the people and the Connemara pony to contacts with Spain. But even from Mesolithic times, it's possible to trace the Celtic influence from the Western Mediterranean in the great megalithic tombs. The pony's roots go back to Kertag and Celt, descendants of the wild horses of the Ice Age. Italian Rebel Wind is owned by the Connemara Breeders Society and has been carefully selected as being the best of his type. Today, the society keeps some 15 stallions which serve the mares of the local farmers and breeders. It also buys a number of suitable foals and yearling colts, the rest being gelded and sold as riding ponies. The fertility of the mares is an outstanding characteristic and many continue to have a foal each year after the age of 20. In springtime, the countryside is a mass of wild flowers and many rare plants can be found here. Rabbits are again plentiful, and there's no shortage of food for this fox family who are left in peace by the local farmer.
grassy plains near the sea are the nesting place of little ringed plover and lapwings whose young will soon be hatching. Most of the foals are born in May and early June, having been carried by the mare for 11 months, arriving at a time when the weather is kind and the grass is at its best. The mare normally hides away when she's going to foal, and only great patience enabled this foaling to be recorded. If you do happen to be there, it's always best to give a little assistance and make sure the foal is able to get its first breath. The little slippers help to protect the mother's womb from the small, sharp hooves. It's part of the foal's natural development to struggle and exercise its lungs, and it's soon standing and searching for its mother's milk. Two days later, it's trotting after its mother and can gallop gaily as fancy takes it. In 1923, the Connemara Pony Breeders Society was formed in order to improve and continue this hardy race of ponies. Each May, the inspection committee spends three days touring the area. Farmers bring their two-year-olds down from the hills to see if they come up to the strict standards set for the breed. The inspectors look at the horse's movements, trained for many years to travel across the narrow bog and mountain tracks. A pony is only eligible when it's two years old. The type of pony which is sought is compact, deep-bodied, short back, well ribbed up, standing on short legs and having good bone with sloping shoulders and a well-balanced head and neck. Teeth are checked for age. They note the color, which is usually gray, but often black, bay, brown, or the attractive dun. There's an occasional roan or chestnut. The recognized height of grown ponies is from 13 to 14 hands. Nearly 50 years after the society was formed, 4,000 mares have been registered and 350 stallions. The pony is truly a little horse, the literal translation of the Irish capellin.